Always fresh, every day. You're watching Fast Lane Daily. We begin today with the latest Jim Connor porn from rally driver and DC shoes magnate Ken Block. He like ten ups himself on this one. Ken, drive your car. Wow, that is freaking amazing. But Ken, may I make a suggestion? Next time, as you're drifting, you should like hit some chimes or like a xylophone or a that huge piano from the movie Big. Just drift over it and just glissando right over that thing. Be pretty badass. Or you put me in your video and hit me. I think that'd be pretty cool. Also, I wear a lot of DC stuff. Just a little note. You can see the whole video at dcshoes.com. Let's move on. GM sells Hummer, a supercar prototype goes for Nurburgring glory, and what's with that new BMW 7 Series prototype? What's up everybody, I'm Derek D. You're watching Fast Lane Daily. Tuesday. Fast Lane Daily with Derek D. Always fresh every day. And the new government motor, I mean General Motors, may have found a new home for the once proud Hummer brand. Automotive News reports GM has reached a deal to sell the marketer of right-angled gas-scarfing SUVs. GM officials wouldn't say who the buyer is or how much money they sold Hummer for, but did say the sale would close by the third quarter of 2009. Automotive News reports the sale will likely preserve more than 3,000 jobs in manufacturing, engineering, and at Hummer dealerships. In other news, Greenpeace just exploded. And yesterday we reported on the Devon GTX. That's the supercar in development by the garlic bread king of Michigan, Scott Devon. Devon's company's Devon Motorworks says it plans to reveal a production prototype of the GTX at this summer's Pebble Beach Concourse de Elegance. But new word today is we could see the Dodge Viper-like coupe even earlier. Devon says the GTX will show up first in Germany this July, but will attempt to break the production car lap record on the Nürburgring. Never mind, of course, that the GTX isn't yet in production. Either way, Devon says the track-ready GTX will be driven by British Le Mans veteran Justin Bell, who's the son of five-time Le Mans winner Derek Bell. What a good first name, Derek B. He's right here. Awesome. I'm Derek D. What's up? Cool. And German tuning shop Gimbala released new photos of its latest tweaked Porsche 911 Turbo. It's the Avalanche GTR 650 Evo R. Not quite as menacing as the company's GTR 800. The 650 still is a bit of a runner. Those 650 horses are enough to get the GTR 650 from 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds, with a top speed of 206. Gambala's tweaks also include new carbon fiber aero gear and aluminum quad pipes. No word on price, but if you have to ask, you don't play for the calves. This basketball team, they make a lot of money, they can afford the car. LeBron James, shoot a ball through a hoop. Okay, that's enough. For news updates and other stuff, follow us on Twitter. Oh, come here, Twitter bird. Yeah, come on, come on in. Get the hell out of here. Tweet that, bitch. That's twitter.com slash FastLaneDaily. And don't forget to subscribe to Fast Lane Daily on YouTube and friend us on Facebook, because we're all your friends. Derek? Next up, a hot, yes? Uh, yeah, I think, uh... Yeah, we, that's fine. No, I was just gonna say, uh, anger management is the word. Ah, I'll be all right. Next up, a hotter BMW 7 Series shows up. Is it M-Power or some other kind of stuff? That's the Internet Rumor Mill, coming up after this. Oh, this coffee smells so good. Derek! Uh, what's up? Actually, before you hold that thought for a second, I just want to say something real fast. All you FLD viewers out there, we want to hear from you. Send us a video telling us, right, Mike? Yes. Telling us why you love Fast Lane Daily. You know, tell us who you are, where you're from, keep it 30, approximately 30 seconds or less, and tell us why you love Fast Lane Daily. Post it on your YouTube account, your Facebook account, tag us in it. Email us at tips at fastlanedaily.com where we can go see it and we might feature you on the show. So uh, send in those videos. We want to see why you love Fast Lane Daily. Okay, Mike, what's up? Uh, here, this is for you. Derek, these cupcakes aren't going to make themselves. Thanks.
BMW may have canceled the new flagship above the 7 Series, but that doesn't mean the Bavarians aren't moving on to plan B. Where it is, the company's now working on a higher performance version of the new 7 Series. Spies say a recently spotted test car isn't a version of BMW 7 Series by tuning partner Alpina. Instead, spies say it's a new 7 prototype tuned by the company's M division. The test car spotted in Germany has caused new speculation BMW is planning an M7 sedan. BMW diehards say that'll never happen, but that the company could use some of its CS powertrain and suspension development on the 7 Series. No word from the company, but we could find out more later this year at the Frankfurt Motor Show. Well, that about does it for Fastlane Daily today. I'm Derek D. Hope you guys have a lovely Tuesday. Get out there and get some exercise. Or just drive. Whatever you want.